Hello everyone, welcome back to Aviation Engineering. Today we're going to have a look at this jet engine, turbofan jet engine, or just jet engine, whatever you want to call it. Um, it works on a similar principle as a four-stroke motor car engine that is divided up into four sections. The front bit is the inlet, the second bit compression, the third bit combustion, and the fourth bit being exhaust. This aircraft can also be, engine can also be further broken down into two sections from there, which will be the cold section from there forward, so that's cool, relatively cool air, hot air and very hot air, so they call this the cold section and the hot section. Very similar to an, a car engine, that there's also a spark plug, top and bottom fitted to do the initial start of the engine, and from there on the engine is self-sustaining. We're also going to go around to the inlet. Let's quickly show you. Here's the compressor. So as I said, here we have the, the inlet of the engine, which is here from the lip all the way to the inlet. It's also stainless steel in the front here. Hot air passes through here so that ice doesn't form on this lip. Then the next section in the inlet, from there to there, it's got lots of sound dampening in to take the noise down a bit. It also has one thing that's pretty similar to a car. Here it has an inlet temperature sensor to give you the inlet temperature of the air going into the engine. Then it goes into here to the compressor side. And the compressor is normally split into sort of three sections. The fan blades, the fan section in the front, has about a two-thirds bypass. I don't know if you can see it properly here. They're not too much light. I'm trying to get the angle. Oh, there we go. There's a better shot. About two-thirds of the air gets bypassed down on the side of the engine where the core in the middle is the actual jet engine that's where the compressor starts so that is section number two or cycle number two in there to you there compressor starts over there then we go around from here in the compressor section we stand back a bit the compressor starts and it slowly starts compressing and compressing slowing the air down and then compressing compressing and compressing it more before it goes into the combustion chamber. And some of this air also gets used, diverted, goes up into the pylon, down to the center aircraft, and it gets used for air conditioning. Uh, the air that you feel coming out after it gets cooled through a whole stage of pre cooling. The next section, being the hot section, air goes through, it gets mixed with fuel over here, all around. That's where the two plugs sit top and bottom to the ignition. Igniting. and from there the hot air and fuel mixture being obviously burnt goes all the way back and goes through the turbine checksum which is over here I don't know if you're going to see the turbine let me try and get low enough maybe, oh, maybe you can just, just see a view of the blades so that's the exhaust section section number 4 and the bypass bit that I spoke in front of the compressor is over here the two-thirds goes past so there you can see the front of the or the back end of the fan disc about two-thirds of it that goes bypass it to help with engine cooling and keeping this section fairly cool also in this section we have the blocker doors you'll be able to make out those sort of arms going out they the whole sleeve in this third section moves back the outer sleeve this section moves back and opens up a gap over here and those are the rods on the inside cycle doors into the wind that forces the air that comes to the bypass section to go forward and acts as your reverse thrust so a pretty simple system really it gets more involved in the front we had that air temperature sensor for the air in and at the back in the turbine between the two turbines there's the ITT or thermocouple or what you want to call it a temperature sensor which measures the temperature of the air coming out from the exhaust and between the temperature from there and the altitude they're flying at the conditions they're flying at and the temperature of the air that's going into the front of the engine there is a computer called the EEC that calculates the amount of fuel air mixture required to run the engine at optimum 